Hey, it's Matt from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com. Uh, today's video, I want to cover uh, soda blasting carburetors, parts, or carbs. Um, you can see here on the left is what I'm dealing with. There's like some rust residue, white deposits in the carb um, that I was not able to remove um, with... Berryman carb dip or pine saw or any any dip for that matter. It's just some residue that will not come off. Um, here is the same float bowl after I shot it with some baking soda and it just came right off. So this is definitely the finish you're after. Um, it's just nice and clean and ready to be assembled. So what you're gonna need is some baking soda. You know this is about a dollar for a box. You're gonna need a blow gun and some clear hose. So what I've done is, and by the way the hose is about 7 16 or half inch ID. So what I did is I just, about two inches from the end you just cut a little hole and you poke your blowgun through there and make sure it's about an inch or so recessed in there and then just tape the hose to your blow guns just so you can use it easily and down here I cut the end at a 45 degree angle and at first I didn't have you know I had nothing down here and it just sucked up way too much soda way too fast so I put a little nut in there as an as a restrictor um, so the process is pretty easy you just point and blow you know once it's hooked up to air, air and once this is stuck in your soda box so just make sure that's nice and in there, hook it up to the air, and just start blasting. You're going to want to wear safety glasses and a respirator. It does get pretty dusty, and you definitely want to do it outside. So uh, I'm going to move everything to an area where I can do it, and then uh, you know, I'll show you the process. All right, so I'm kind of right by my garage door opening here. So I got the soda in here, and I'm just going to go for it. Alright, so that looks pretty darn clean. Alright, let's go back to the workbench. Alright, so here's that same float bowl. You can see I was just trying to get all that residue off, the rust residue. It's just fine powder that wouldn't come off. Now, if I didn't soda blast this, I'd probably take some carb clean and some scotch bright and just work it. And that's just a tedious process. Not only was it on the float bowls, but it was on the carb bodies. And you can see that I got all this cleaned up. So um, that's it for this video. Hopefully uh, in the near future here I'll have a blast cabinet, a small blast cabinet that I'll have on my bench top which will be dedicated just for uh, soda blasting carburetor parts because I do do a lot of carburetor cleans and uh, or rebuilds and I, I run into this issue all the time. So that's it for this video. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video. It's just me in a garage working on bikes, so definitely check it out.